Hello Crystal Souls, hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm coming with a new piggy card reading and this one is about what to expect for spring. To select the card, I highly suggest you press pause, meditate on the card and select the one that your intuition is picking. Of course you can use a pendulum for this step. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. If you are interested to book a personal reading with me, I'll be so happy to help you. All you need to do is to find the details in the description down below and same thing for my spiritual shop, which by the way, you can find this beautiful third eye necklace on this one. I mean, I'm starting to post a lot more, so yeah, check it out if you are interested. If you want to follow more of my adventures, you can follow me on Instagram, where I post more of art pictures, fashion, spirituality, writing in general. Yeah, I post a lot of things out there, so yeah, check it out. I also share my twin flame journey on post, so... Yeah, if you are interested and curious, you can actually read it out there. All right, I think it's time for your reading, so let's do it. So here's the first group with the Moonstone, the second group with the Pirate, and a third group with the Amethyst. Let's start with the first one. So the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. This one symbolizes creative inspiration, vision, beginnings and energy. Beautiful. I am seeing that you may start a project and start something in spring. And I believe this is something that is related to a project or maybe a relationship you want to start with. It's more friendship that I'm seeing here. It can be a project you want to start as a work or anything that is creative with people because I'm seeing the yellow energy. And yellow represents creativity but also relationship in general. It can also represent joy, happiness and clarity. So I think you are going to feel the envy or the, um, the inspiration for you to start something and this will align with growth. I'm also seeing autumn season here. This can be that you will start something in spring but in autumn it will be very very strong in a way or this is something that will be um, growing strongly in time. Meaning you may actually experience a lot of abundance, especially in autumn season. But I believe you are going to start this project on um, the spring season. So yeah, I believe you are going to grow and grow with people because this is a new, a new beginning for me that is going to start with people. Or maybe your friends are going to inspire you to give you this boost and you know tell you it's time for you to start this because you have been working so hard on this and you're really skilled and you're talented. So I think you should give yourself um, a chance to manifest your dream because I, I think people around you really trust you and really support you on this journey because I am seeing a new beginning that is more related to a career or a project but something that is meaningful for you. So and because this talks about creativity I believe you are going to start something artistic um, so yeah it, it can be a project that is about art it can be building a house, it can be building something, it can be uh, giving giving your time to people in order for you to inspire them because I think this will actually ask you to be creative in a way to find a solution for people. So I believe help, healing, energy, passion because I'm seeing the red color here. So I think you are going to start something in spring that aligns with your passion and what you feel cool to do and start. The Three of Swords. This one symbolizes sorrow, heartbreak, pain and loss. Okay, well I think this new beginning can be happening because you was losing something. And this can be a relationship at work or it can be a relationship that is a romance. So maybe you was breaking up or you are about to because you feel like this is not going to make you grow. This is not bringing you anywhere. And so you feel like it's time for you to move on because I feel like you feel more pain being in a relationship than actually being alone on your own and, and you're embracing life on your own. So I think it's time for you to, you know, reevaluate your relationships. And you can also see three swords and you could see three people here. It can also be that you are going to, you know, transition to something new and actually be around people that are going to help you to remove these swords. And this can be spending more time with your friends or family members that are going to help you on this journey to feel um better and to to feel like it wasn't a loss that much it was more a transition for you to actually welcome the right person because i am seeing that your heart is protected with this circle here so i think you are going to find protection you are going to find 
an opportunity for you to move on to something that is going to offer you stability, that is going to offer you healing as well, because I'm not seeing you staying in this place of hurt. I'm seeing you moving on. And I think the spring season is going to inspire you to welcome the best and the best companies as well and the best relationships. So it's wonderful. I'm seeing that you may actually transition to something new and to something that is going to offer you healing and freedom. The King of Pentacles. This king is successful, stable, in control, powerful and hardworking. Okay, well this is great because I'm saying if you free yourself, you are going to start a new beginning with a king. So this is someone who is for me very grounded, very connected to the nature as well. And also this may be an old soul or someone that is spiritual because I'm seeing him kind of removing this envelope of this tree and embracing his true self, embracing this journey and growth. You can also see a lot of abundance falling. So I, I believe this person is successful. It can also be a celebrity or someone that is well known. But I'm seeing that this person may be an inspiration. I'm also seeing that this person is protected by um, their guides because the dragon for me represents a um, spiritual teacher but it can also represent spirit guides protecting this person and guiding him on this journey. And I think this new beginning can also be related to you starting uh, a relationship, a romance with someone that is going to be right for you. Because I'm not seeing you staying in a place of hurt. You really want to experience love and protect yourself. And I think in order for you to feel okay with the past maybe you need someone to accompany you and to love you to make you recognize who you truly are and how beautiful you are and also how much love you can give to someone because i think this person is going to recognize what you can give him or her and i think this one is going to support you as who you are truly and embrace who you are fully so this is wonderful i'm seeing this relationship that is going to make you feel stronger and more powerful and, and also reconnect with yourself and love yourself more. It's like this person is going to empower yourself a lot. And this is also because he is very grounded and very stable. And this is someone who is not going to be affected by judgments and things that are uh, very external to his own opinions or point of view. And I think this is better because he, he can tune into his own reality and also bring this power to people around him. So I think this person is going to be a big inspiration on your journey. The Eight of Branches. This one symbolizes shiftness, action, quick changes, news, and also travel. Okay, this is exciting. I mean, I can see that there is something new coming your way because this king seemed pretty new and this new beginning was actually announced. So yes, you are going to welcome something and maybe travel as well. This new beginning can actually start in a new place if you want to start something abroad or maybe in a new city but i believe a lot of you are going to create something on your own and this can be related to business this can be relationship anything like this because i see that you really want to move on in your life and start something on your own and start something that is about to grow as well you can also see this bottle here and this symbolizes for me that you are going to receive some ends or symbols from your guides and spirit guides telling you maybe the direction you need to take in order for you to start a new beginning that is going to offer you growth or it can also be hints of, you know, how to start a business or where you need to start it or what type, of pe what type of person you are going to welcome and manifest in your life because I believe you are going to be guided on this journey. And this is where you can see a lot of things manifesting and a lot of growth manifesting as well. I mean, this person was incarnating growth and success. So I think this can also be your energy. You can actually travel to a new place, embrace yourself, discover yourself and build yourself strongly and be grateful grounded enough to manifest this abundance and this can actually manifest when you will travel or transition to something new because this can be a card of transitioning to you know something new and I think this is something that aligns with your passion and your dreams this is not something you actually want to do because of money or something material this is something that is a lot more meaningful for you but I'm seeing things shifting and traveling and changing for you and I think this is for the better because a lot of things needs to be cleared and this is in order for you to welcome this new beginning and you can see this one opening his arm. So I think you'll be very welcoming with whatever is coming to you and this is for your own growth and stability. You can also see the water being here and this one is pretty calm. So I believe you are going to direct yourself towards the right direction in order for you to bring peace and clarity and calm and, and you feeling at ease with what you do and where you are as well.
This can also be related to the fact that you are going to unite with someone that is pretty calm too. And I believe this is the case because this one is very grounded and welcoming and also very loving because this is someone who is very con connected and also connected to the nature and the animals. And when you have a green aura, for example, you are very loving in general. So this is wonderful. I believe you are going to transition to someone which is something that is going to make you feel stable and free and also feel loved. And this is something that you will love as well. Well. The number eight symbolizes meditation and reflection. So I think you will need to maybe think about what is going to be best and maybe meditate and try to see visions and images that your guides may communicate to you because I am seeing this bottle and for me this bottle represents ends being sent by your guides. It can also be like a, a love letter being sent through the sea, something like this. So this can be something romantic that you will receive or this can be hints from the universe and your guides telling you this is how your journey is going to happen. Maybe it's time for you to start it this way or to start it at, at this place or something like this. But I believe you are going to have visions, synchronicities, maybe numbers and things like that that are going to repeat themselves in order for you to understand the message. The Six of Vessels. This one symbolizes tradition, nostalgia, reflection on childhood, memory, religion, guidance and reunion. Okay, well I think this is something pretty connected spiritually and I was seeing that this person was spiritual as well. You can also be on a soulmate journey or twin flame journey and I think this is what is going to allow you to actually receive some ins you can see a lot of them here. So I think this is obvious that your guides are going to show you the direction and show you what is going to be best for you in order for you to manifest the best. Because yes, I believe you are going to be guided and also I'm seeing travel for you. It's like if you are feeling the need to travel during spring or maybe during um, summer, I believe this is about to bring some change in your life and this can be a relationship this can be starting a new project abo abroad or maybe in a new city i'm not saying that you have to travel so far but i believe this is a transition for you there is something happening and the six represent actually beauty and love so i think this is related to uh, something you love to do or it can be a lover a relationship that will start and if you are on a twin flame journey or soulmate journey i believe you are going to receive more ints and things like this. It doesn't have to be that in spring you will actually meet this person. It can come a bit later, so do not be disappointed. But I'm seeing that for some of you, you may actually unite in spring or summer because things are traveling, things are in motion and you are directing yourself towards this direction, towards this person. And I think you actually paying attention to the right timing and hints telling you it's time now to direct yourself in that place or maybe to you feel the urge to go somewhere and things like this. I think this is what is going to guide you to manifest this person in your life and actually have an opportunity for you to meet with this one. So try to pay attention to synchronicities or if you feel the intuition to go somewhere or something like this, this might be for a reason and a divine reason. So do not resist it, go with the flow and see what's happening. So here we have the number three. This one symbolizes the station, growth and birth. And I'm also seeing this growth represented with the flowers here. So I, I guess you are going to grow uh, with someone or grow alone and start something, a project. And I believe this is a good harmony for you because I'm seeing growth for you. I'm seeing that things are going to be working. I'm also seeing that you may actually be... Oh, I think it makes sense. For some of you, I am seeing that you may be hesitant between three people and this is why I was seeing three people here and three swords and these three um, knives and also the number three. So it can be that you are going to make a decision but what I see here is that two of them are planted in the ground meaning they are not going to be right for you but I'm seeing that one is standing up and this one is also up up on these on this bucket. So I think this is a symbol for you that you will recognize who is going to be right and who is going to be actually the one you are looking for. And if you are looking for a soulmate or a twin, you are going to recognize who is going to be best and who is going to be the right person. So yeah, I'm saying that you may actually find a, a way for you to recognize this one. And this will be crystal clear for you. And I think you will also feel 
uh, intensely and also of a very magnetic energy to this person because you will feel like this person is completing you or it's like you know this person because the two of you maybe shared past lives with each other and I believe this person is also an old soul so it can be you or the person or both of you and I think this is what is going to allow you to manifest this person because it's like you are um, being led towards this person and this person is also being uh, pushed in your direction and I believe this is what is going to allow you to manifest this person but also attract this person your way just like this person will actually manifest you in his life or her life and the lights represents the discerning force of the intellect logic reason associated with the hair element and learning it can also be that this person is, is a hair element I'm also seeing earth element and water especially so you may have all of them maybe or one of these in his chart and I think this is what is going to be pretty clear for you but I believe this can be any sign it doesn't have to be that but I'm seeing that these are pretty intensely represented on these cards but as I said to you I think you will recognize who is best this can also represent the past maybe relationships before were not working in order for you to be directed towards the one you see and this was this one is actually standing up strong on this bucket so yes I think this relationship is going to be totally different from what you knew and this is exciting the Wanderer of Knives again this is a hair element being represented here so this one represents uh, an exciting traveler ready to take on the gifts of the cosmos ready to risk all okay this is so exciting because Yes, I believe this person is a traveler and very excited to travel. So I believe this relationship with this king can actually start from a, from the distance. Meaning you will have to travel to this one and maybe take some boat or so travel overseas or just take the plane. But I'm seeing that you may actually travel to this person and this person may also travel to see you. And I'm also seeing this person opening, I mean... Look at them, they're just welcoming you. So I think it can be you and the person, but I believe it's going to change, it's going to shift, and you are going to welcome this person, and this person is also going to be very welcoming with you, because I believe this person knows that he or she wants you, and there's no way that someone else is going to be right. It's like this person is also having these two arts being represented here. So this is love coming your way, I believe. So maybe this beginning is going to be about your career, but this can also be a new relationship relationship coming or if you are in a relationship it can be that you will travel with this person and also be more loving with this one and more um, maybe touchy cuddly and make this person feel good and feel loved because this person may actually need that so try to be more connected to your lover or more connected to people around you as well because you can actually have um, you know some time that you need to spend with your friends in order for you to get this inspiration of maybe starting a new career or maybe starting a, a travel with them. It can also be traveling with your friends and you are going to be, maybe meet someone that is significant for you. By the way, I completely forgot to share the oracle cards for the first group, so here it is. The first one is, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. And the second one, oneness is my true nature. Okay, let's move on to the second group. And the second group. So the overall energy is the Eight of Cups. This one symbolizes walking away, making changes and fatigue. Okay, yes, change is coming for you and I think you will recognize what is worth taking with you and what is worth, um, what is not actually worth taking with you. But yeah, I'm seeing that you will, you will actually need to reevaluate things. It can be people, it can be uh, things that were not working, it can be a job, it can be education, it can be a project that you started but feel like it's time for you to move on from this because there is something calling for you. Um, I'm saying that you may actually direct yourself towards something that will bring you clarity and that is something that you really want to start because you feel like this this thing is meaningful and this was not. So maybe you was working just for money or just working for something that was not really 
satisfying in a way and now you're just recognizing what is best and what is actually going to make you grow so you are going to move on from this energy and manifest what is right for you because i believe it's time for you to start something on your own and start believing in yourself in order for you to direct yourself towards the right direction or maybe towards the right person because it can also be relationship maybe you are going to leave the past behind it can also be healing a healing card meaning you will cut the cord with the past in order for you to welcome this this um, future but also be in this present moment and accept this one it's like you really need to recognize with uh, the now and and yourself and with who you are in order for you to move on from the, the past and also welcome the future or the opportunities you will receive because i think a lot of you are avoiding being in this present moment and maybe think too much about the past so this card is is actually announcing that it's time for you to make a change it's time for you to make a decision for you to move on from this past energy and be in this present moment because i believe this is when you will actually shine the chariot this one symbolizes ambition self-discipline focus and triumph okay this is wonderful. If it's healing, you are going to be healed. If this is about you manifesting something and going with the flow and actually welcoming a new offer or a new person, I'm going that this is going to be successful. And you are also going with the flow here. You're welcoming this new energy, this change. You are not resisting anything. It's like you really want to build a future that is going to last in time because I'm seeing the castle being uh, represented here. It's something that you are going to be uh, building. It can also be you starting to buy a house. It can also be buying uh, transportation, something like this. It can also be an animal. Um, I'm also seeing the cancer sign being here and water being represented. So it can be that you are going to direct yourself towards someone, a new person that can have water in his chart or her chart, or you can have water in your chart as well. And I believe it's time for you to also use this water for clearance, to clear away the darkness of the past, the wounds, the traumas, in order for you to feel free. Because I'm seeing this card as freedom for a lot of you. It's like you recognize what was best or who was best, and now you're just directing yourself with excitement towards this new adventure. Because change is needed, I believe. And it's time for you to welcome this one and to be grateful for this change because this is what is going to make you grow as a better person and also grow grow more successful and abundant because this is all about triumph the seven of pentacles this one symbolizes contemplation cultivation reward and hard work yes i am seeing relationship and also work education anything you harvest your time in or on well this is what is going to offer you growth and i'm also seeing money coming to you i'm seeing you being rewarded it's for sure and you are going to harvest this one and you also feel like this is something that is a part of your destiny because i'm seeing this red ribbon here so this symbolizes for me that this is something your soul kind of made as a contract and now you're ready to harvest this this, re this reward, it can be relationships, it can be something that you really care, it can also be success in your career. So if you are wanting to be an artist, because I'm seeing a lot of creativity on this card and something you are, you know, kind of going to make grow. And this is something that is very meaningful for you. So I think you are going to follow your dreams and passion. And this is why it's going to turn into something that will grow and something that you can, you know, recognize as a, su as a success as well. Because yes, it's growing and now you're just, you know, manifesting this one. What is beautiful is that it was actually having this this lamp here on top of you and this one is represented here so it's like you moving on is going to allow you to have this successful life and harvest anything that you desire so i think it's time for you to transition and to welcome this new beginning because something beautiful is waiting for you there is no doubt and i think it's time for you to harvest this one by the way, the number eight represents meditation and reflection. So it was asking you to really think about what is going to be next. And I think the spring season is going to inspire you to uh, welcome something new and embrace growth because the nature is also growing all around you. And the number seven for me is a lucky number. So I think this reflection, this time that you took to actually think and meditate and know what was going to be best for you and go with it and actually transition towards this, this thing that is meaningful for you and something that is new because this is all about change. I believe this is what is going to 
you know, welcome something that is meaningful, something that is going to grow. I see success coming for you. And trust me, you are going to embrace it because you will understand that you was actually manifesting the success. The Four of Vessels. This one symbolizes meditation, reevaluating priorities and your true talent. This is just <laughs> this is just completing everything I was saying. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, you need to take some time to reflect and understand what is going to be your passion, what is the calling in order for you to nurture these talents and to receive this abundance and be successful because this is all about it. I'm also seeing that a lot of you are going to be someone that is out of the box. It's like people were always kind of um, not being able to recognize themselves in you. They were like, I don't understand you or, or maybe they, they couldn't understand your talents and couldn't see it truly. But I'm saying that it's for a reason. It was to challenge you in a way and to stay out of this box because I am seeing that you have a lot to offer that is pretty unique. And I'm not saying that people are actually, um, you know, needed in this in this transition. It's like, you know what you want to do and you are going to do this alone. It can also be you having this envy to start something on your own. It can be a business, it can be your artist uh, career. It can be a project that you really wanted to start. It can be something like this. It can also be a hobby. But I believe you are going to transition to something new that is going to be rewarding. And this is because you are unique. This is because you have a very different perspective on things and, and something very beautiful to bring to others that, you know, they don't really see at first. It's like you're a genius for me and I think people will recognize this and they are going to be very inspired about your journey and about what you can share as well because, yes, you have a lot to give and it's great to be out of the box and it's great to have this little sparkle that is different because I believe this is what is going to allow you to be successful and what is going to allow you to shine. The number four can represent even a material unity. So yes, I believe you are going to be successful. You are going to manifest a lot of money when you will align with this change and welcome this one because I am not saying that staying in a place that is secure in a way or maybe you are staying at a place that is paying you enough or you feel like this is paying you enough. But I'm saying that make, making this transition is going to bring you a lot more money than that you are making right now. Of course, this, this is maybe going to take some time for you to receive this abundance, but I believe you investing your time and efforts in something that is meaningful for you is going to be the best reward anyway. But I'm seeing money coming for you, this is for sure. So do not be afraid to transition and to welcome this new thing in your life because I believe this is what is going to allow you to live the best life and also to be happy. Oh my God. Yes. If this isn't clear... <laughs> I don't know how to say it, okay? Okay, this is great. This is the Wheel of Fortune. So it talks about good fortune, luck, karma, turning point, and gambling. I'm seeing money for you. I'm seeing success coming for you. I'm seeing this change being manifested because this water is in motion. The water was in motion and you was going with the flow. It's like you are directed and I think your guys are showing you the way, showing you what is going to be best for you. I think when you have skills and talents, it's for a reason. And when you will understand that you need to use them in this lifetime for you to create abundance and to align with your soul calling in a way, what, well, this is what is going to offer you the success. And this will completely change your life, I believe. This is, for me, a big transition and something that will reward you like never before. It's like you will recognize that you are taking the right direction, the right path, in order for you to be uh, successful in life, but also to be happier. Because I'm saying that this may not just change your life materially, but also you'll feel a lot more at ease with yourself. You'll feel like there is some type of inspiration. You want to do things. You're excited to do things. And you feel like you want to grow like the nature. It's like you really want to manifest growth. You really want to manifest a change. It's like you will rebirth from this winter season. It's like you'll feel so inspired and pushed to do something different. And I believe this is one Wonderful because this is showing you the right direction. This is, the, this is the direction for me of success, of fortune. So please do not resist it. Go in that direction and, and go with the flow, really, because I believe you are going to be directed. I believe you are going to feel inspired to do what you are meant to do and what is aligning with your passions. There we go. Okay, so the moon represents um, dreams and also introspection. 
how funny it is. It's just telling you you need to introspect and, and actually follow your dreams. Because this is when you are going to be in alignment with your life's purpose. And this is when you are going to manifest this abundance and stability. I'm also seeing emotional stability with the water being here and growth coming to you with the nature. So I think it's time for you to transition. It's time for you to welcome this new beginning and actually align with your dreams and passion because this is what is, go is going to come to you. Success, fortune, money, and also good relationships and stability within. It's like everything will just change and shift into something beautiful. And I'm so excited because, yeah, so it's going to come soon. It's going to be built soon. And this is because you are making this transition. You, you are not afraid to change your life completely because you feel like it's time for you to live the best life. It's time for you to listen to the calling and to follow um, this envy, this inspiration for you to start what is meaningful for you, what your dreams were telling you, maybe what you envisioned as a future or maybe you was, you was just daydreaming about something and then you're receiving some opportunities to actually start that. And this is wonderful because I believe you are going to be supported, you are going to be guided, this is for sure. You can also see the water being here represented and this one is calm but I believe this um, this transition is going to be very calm for you. Even though I'm seeing a lot of darkness here, I believe when you will find stability, your dreams represented with the moons are going to merge out of this. It's like it's going to be so clear for you that you won't even overthink it. It's like you will understand that this was meant to happen. This transition was needed in order for you to introspect into something that is going to be right for you. And the number nine symbolizes chaos before perfection. So I think this chaos was now behind you or is going to be behind you. You are going to make this transition and go with the flow and go towards something that is going to align with your passion and dreams. This is 100% sure. And if you are not feeling trustful about this future, this is just a reading telling you it's time. It's really time for you to trust yourself and to lead yourself towards this, this transition in order for you, for you to welcome this fortune and create something beautiful and start a beginning that is going to allow you to, to live the best life. There we go. And again, this is talking about money for me coming to you because the number four represents even in material unity and you can see a lot of crystals and this pyramid being here it's like you will build something strong something that will um, allow you to reach the top and this can be success coming to you this can be recognition this can be you being successful as an artist or successful with what you do if you want to build um, a career if you want to build a business if you want to build art or create something with your hands, something very crafty. I believe this is what is going to allow you to have a lot of success, a lot of money coming to you because the crystals represents for me something that is harvested and something something that is very connected to money, something precious, like a treasure. It can also be healing energy. Maybe if you need to heal yourself from past wounds, this can be that you will have to need um, crystal, also meditate under the full moon, maybe take some bath because I'm seeing the water here. So the water can actually clear away these traumas and, and emotional uh, things that are stuck in uh, your chakras or, or your aura. You can also see the candles being represented here and this symbolizes passion for me. You can also, you can also pray on a candle and maybe put intention um, in a candle. For example, you want to be healed so you can pray with a candle and let it burn all night until it's completely consumed and so the healing will occur because it's like a prayer that was consuming itself and being sent to the universe so maybe you can use it also for your dreams and manifestation so i think this is pretty much showing you techniques on how to achieve and manifest this fortune because i believe the more um, you think positively about the outcome of your life and success I think this is going to happen a lot more faster for you. So please trust yourself and direct yourself towards your dreams and passion. Because, I mean, look at this. This is about to come when you will align and go with this, this idea or inspiration in order for you to manifest what's best for you. And now I'm going to share two awkward cards to end this reading. So the first one is, When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Beautiful. And the second one, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Isn't that beautiful? 
And as I said, maybe praying is going to be very helpful for you to manifest this, this abundance, this manifestation, because I'm seeing manifestation here, and also clearance of energy. With the moon being here, this is clarity coming for you, also related to the dreams that you may have. And you can also see these owls connecting to each other. Maybe, maybe you'll be inspired and connected to someone that is going to give you the boost to follow what is right. It can also be you making the right decision because the owl is representing someone that is very wise. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of things coming to you that is wonderful. I mean, I'm seeing success, I'm seeing abundance, I'm seeing stability, I'm seeing emotionally. You will be clearing away all these traumas. And yeah, I believe you are going to direct yourself towards something beautiful. And this is all in your hands. So please trust yourself and do not resist this change. All right, let's move on to the last group. And the last group. So the overall energy is the judgment card. This one symbolizes judgment, revelation, redemption and renewal. Okay, I'm seeing something coming for you. I'm seeing an announcement. And this this one is actually coming from your angel or spirit guides actually. So I believe you are going to be directed towards something or someone that is going to be fair for you. I believe this is also aligned with aligning with growth because I'm seeing the flowers opening up and supporting your journey. So yeah, it can also be representing you, but I believe this is also an announcement from the divine or an angel or spirit guides. But I'm seeing also spirit supporting you and supporting this journey. It's like you will go with the flow and actually free yourself and manifest something that is going to allow you to reach freedom and stability and growth as well. You can also see a lot of blue color here. So this symbolizes for me someone who is very pure, very dreamy. So I think this announcement is going to be very, very, very positive. And this is what is going to offer you freedom, creativity, pureness, royalty as well. And the butterflies here represent transformation, rebirth, and they announce change as well. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of change for these three groups, and I think this is wonderful because I think it's needed. We are now transitioning into a new season, and this change is going to clear away maybe a lot of things that were static or things that were not working. At least this is what I'm seeing, he I'm seeing here. It's like you are really wanting to transition to something new and wait for an announcement or maybe a hint that is going to tell you it's time for you to transition, it's time for you to move on to something new and maybe follow something that is right. And because this is something about judgment, I believe this is going to be something that is very fair and that she was waiting for. It can also be a revelation. Maybe you are wanting to start something or maybe you was waiting for a message from the universe telling you, am I on the right path? Am I doing what is right or something like this? And I believe this card is telling you, yes this like what you are doing or what you want to do is actually best for you so it's like a clear message from your angels telling you please stand on your feet uh, stay strong because people are going to support you and also welcome this transition with you and help you on this journey in order for you to grow the ace of swords this one symbolizes mental clarity focus new beginnings and truth I mean, I was sensing that this was something that would change for you, so th this new beginning card is not surprising. It's like you're just ready to transition and start something new that probably aligns with something that that is a business or maybe a relationship as well. But I'm seeing that this is something that will transform you, for sure, because you can also see the butterflies here. And this symbolizes transformation, rebirth, and also change coming your way. And this change, I believe, was needed in order for you to heal yourself, because I'm seeing so much energy and clearance as well. And this group of swans are actually protecting you. So I think you are going to be around people that are going to protect you and support this journey, and also embrace yourself the way you are. It's like they will recognize your talents, your potential, what you can give to them and what you can give to people, but also what you can create on your own. Because I believe you can be a leader. You can be someone that people really look up to and, and can trust 
freely because you are the type of person and this is why I believe they embrace this this change in your life with you and they really celebrate this time with you as well. It's like I believe you will also build new friendships or relationships. It can be a business relationship. It can be you um, being welcomed in a new place and people are going to be very are welcoming with you and they are going to support you and make you learn as well because the soul represents learning and logic and reason. So yes, I believe you are going to be directed towards people that are going to make you grow and embrace all the talents that you share and things that you share because they can recognize that you have a lot to share and a lot to give and offer them. Because this talks about mental clarity, I believe you are going to find a way or maybe receive some downloads and visions and images from your guides telling you maybe this is time for you to follow this thing that you was thinking of doing but kind of felt afraid to start. So I believe you are going to be inspired to start something new, inspired to move on to something that is going to be a lot more rewarding. And yes, this can be a relationship, this can be relationships as well because I'm seeing friendship. It can also be family, it can also be a job, opportunity coming for you, something that will be announced that somehow you was waiting for. This is also a card for me that you are going to be celebrating with people. It can also be you starting to celebrate your, your life, your project, your, the things you actually manifested. And it's like you are going to maybe tap, tap yourself in, in the back and tell yourself you have been doing a lot of amazing things and you can be proud of yourself. So it can also be you recognizing your talents and what you was able to manifest and start. So I think it's a time of you recognizing your efforts and what you was building and maybe this, this is what is going to allow you to be inspired to start a new journey or start something new. Because I think, yes, it's a card telling you you are going to celebrate something, maybe with people or just celebrate it on your own. The Ten of Pentacles. This one symbolizes family, security, prosperity and inheritance. Okay, I'm seeing money coming for you. I'm also seeing that you may be protected because you can see the circle around the sun. This can also announce that you will manifest a partner because this can be your divine masculine being represented with the sun. But I believe you are going to be protected with this circle. So it can be that this person is protected or you are going to be protected by your guides and the universe in order for you to experience the best in your relationships but also with what you create because I'm seeing this castle being built on the background. So it's like you are going to, to transition to something new, maybe to transition to something that you, you will be building or are vesting because you are holding this fruit in your hand. So I believe you are going to move on in a new in a new project or it can be something new as a relationship but I believe you want to start something a new adventure somewhere it can also be travel for you but I'm saying that you you will actually manifest something that is meaningful for you in your career in your education um, it can be creatively as well because I'm seeing a lot of blue here so this creative and pure um, energy and yeah, I believe this is something that you are going to make grow because I'm seeing these trees growing with you. I'm also seeing the infinite sign being kind of represented here. So I believe this dragon that represents for me a spiritual teacher or it can be your guides and the universe. Um, I think you are going to be directed towards something or someone that was from a past life. It can also be you recognizing your skills and this can be skills that you was um, actually improving in past lives and I think if you recognize what you are talented about you are going to be directed towards the right uh, direction so yeah try to pay attention to that and also go with the flow and go towards something that is meaningful and towards something that you can actually be uh, building easily because you are skilled or talented about this and I think you recognizing that you are good in one field is going to be a clear message for you that you need to start something out there. Because you were skilled and talented for a reason. And it's it's time for you to use these talents in order for you to grow in this lifetime. Because, I mean, you can see a lot of growth with the flowers here and also with the nature being here. So, it, yeah, I think it's time for you to receive this success. You can see a lot of pentacles and stars around you. The stars represent for me your spirit guides, maybe showing you the direction, showing you the way. So you are going to receive some ins, synchronicities, visions, maybe dreams to tell you it's time for you to start this. And you can also see the pentacles. So I think success is achievable. It can also be you incarnating the star. It's like you're ready to shine. You're ready to be 
are successful and well known with what you do. The Five of Stones. This one symbolizes a new job, a new home. Hope returns recovery from the past. This is great. And I think this new beginning is going to offer you stability and a healing in a way. It's like it will also inspire you to manifest a lot of abundance because this for me is money coming. And it's like you are manifesting this out of your hand. So this is something you will harvest on your own as I could see with the fruit being here. So yeah, I think you are going to create your career. Maybe you want to start a product on your own. It can be a business, it can be following your artist co, it can be healing also, it can be... Also being announcing things for, for people to grow or being a light worker because you are voicing something out in the world and inspire people to heal in a way. So you can be a messenger, you can be a healer in a way. But I'm saying that you may actually make people grow or maybe incarnate the angel on this card. But yeah, I'm saying change coming for you and the five actually represent change. So this is wonderful. This also represents balance, magic and creation. So I think you are going to be creating something that is worth, um, you know, fighting for. In order for you to create a new beginning, that is going to offer you a beautiful change. I'm saying money coming for you. And actually the 10 represents ending and completion. So it's like maybe the circle was actually creating um, the symbol of completion and not protection. But I believe this can represent both of them. Because I believe you are going to be supported and protected and guided on the right direction. Because you could see the stars, you can see the stars on this card as well. So this symbolizes for me that your guides really work on your career, on your future. And they are going to guide you for the best thing. It also guides you where you want to go. You know, you have free will, so you can ask for whatever you desire. It's not like your destiny is written and you cannot really change it. Okay, so if you are wanting to manifest something in your life, it's time for you to make a clear demand and to follow this um, this inspiration for you to start a new beginning and go in that direction because this is what is going to offer you what you desire but also send a clear message to your guides in the universe that this is what you want to manifest and this is what you really want to have in your life so yes it can be a relationship it can be a project it can be something you want to start but i think you will know because this is something that is pretty connected to the emotions connected to your envies and your dreams the ten of arrows this one symbolizes a fresh new start recovery and feeling forgiveness okay yeah, this is showing you a new direction for sure. This is showing you maybe multiple directions in order for you to be tested and in order for you to be clear with your demand. Or this can also represent that you are thinking of doing too many things and it's not leading you anywhere. You see, so you try, you need to try to think about what is best for you in order for you to start a new beginning that is going to allow you to go in one direction. It's like this one is maybe going to represent an arrow for you see so you are going to need to understand which direction is best for you in order for you to start a new beginning that is going to allow you to follow the right direction and i believe this is a direction that is tuned within yourself this is your heart calling for one direction your soul is also wanting to maybe manifest something that aligns with your life's purpose so you maybe need to take a look at it Maybe understand what you are meant to do. Maybe looking at your path life number is going to be very helpful. I also did a path life uh, reading if you are interested and if you want maybe more inspiration on what you need to do in this lifetime. Because I believe your soul is wanting to expand and learn and grow. And in order for you to do so, it's time for you to understand the calling and understand which direction is best for you in order for you to lead yourself towards what is right. Again, you can see yourself being supported by your guides with the stars being here. So I believe you are going to understand the hints and the direction your, your guides are telling you to take and not actually take all of them because this is going to be tiring and this is not going to make you you know, be moving within one direction. You are going to be very static and just, you know, kind of stuck in your life. So try to understand that in order for you to lead yourself towards the right direction. The 10 also represent ending and completion, like I said before. So yeah, try to understand that maybe you need to end things that are not leading you somewhere in order for you to find a way to, yeah, direct yourself in the right direction and feel complete this way. The devil. This one symbolizes chaos, creativity, embracing shadow. This also represents for me opposites. 
it's like you can see the representation of the devil but also a star and it's like maybe you was transitioning um of this shadow moment of these traumas or maybe relationships that were not working in order for you to welcome this clarity of the star in order for you to, to reach clarity and to manifest the best in your life so yeah i think this was a transition for you that was needed in order for you to understand your calling as well and maybe this person was so toxic and manipulative in a way that you understood that it wasn't leading you somewhere and now you're just understanding the calling in order for you to start to take a new direction in your life and something that is going to feel like a fresh start for you. The number nine can also symbolize a new beginning and the number four symbolizes change. So I think this change was needed. It was in order for you to this relationship with the devil or a situation that was very toxic for you was needed in order for you to direct yourself towards the change that is going to offer you clarity. And yeah, I'm also saying that you are going to understand the message of your guides and you are going to direct yourself towards something that is meaningful for you and not stay in, this, in that place where with this person or um, with this thing that is not working because I think it's time for you to change and you understand that it's not right for you to stay there. It's not right to be with people that are toxic. It's not okay to be around them and to feel like uh, you have to compensate a part that they are missing because they are asking you to change. And when you are understanding this, you are going to lead uh, yourself towards this beautiful change that is going to reward you. And it's like people are going to celebrate this time with you and also welcome you the way you are. The Prophet of Knives. This one is a seeker, one with knowledge to inform their future through will and action. I believe you are going to be very welcoming with the future and also embrace this one. It's like you are going to open your your wings, your arms to whatever is going to happen to you because it's time for change and you are embracing this one. It's like you don't want to experience this anymore. And maybe you are still in this situation, but I see that for a lot of you, you are already transitioning. You are already taking a new direction in your life and the right one for you. So maybe your relationships before that were not working, it was in order for you to understand the message and the lesson, in order for you to grow to something new and to grow into a better person as well. Because I believe this is someone who is going to be secure, someone that is going to embrace growth and embrace change as well. I'm also seeing that you are seeing with a third eye more than your, your vision. It's like you are tuning, tuning into your intuitive uh, self and understanding the message deeply. And also maybe receiving visions and, and images or I mean, you are receiving things and being receptive to their messages because I believe your angels try to communicate with you and you understand that. And this is why you're so in tune with your spiritual self. Now to end this reading, I'm going to share two oracle cards. So the first one is, in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Beautiful. And the last one. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. This is all about love. And yes, you should actually also follow a direction that is going to lead you towards love. With people, also with yourself, but also with what you want to do. Okay, this was a beautiful reading and I hope you liked it. If you do, please put a thumbs up and let me know down below what you think about this one, if this one was accurate for you. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new. I will see you very soon, Crystal Souls. Take good care of you.